might just care to cast her eyes over the report from the Trust and Trust. And I quote, if the five week wait isn't reduced, the only way to stop even more people being forced into food banks this winter will be to pause all new claims to universal credit. The UN also called for the five week wait to be scrapped. In the coming weeks, universal credit is being rolled out in Anglesey, Blackpool, Milton Keynes, parts of Liverpool, parts of London and Glasgow. People risk being left with no money at Christmas. If the Prime Minister won't hold... If the Prime Minister won't halt the rollout of universal credit, will she at least immediately, immediately end the five-week wait? Exactly. Prime Minister! Can I say to the right honourable gentleman that he doesn't quite seem to understand how the system actually operates? No one, no one has to wait for money if they need it. We've made advances. third of the way through and already there's too much noise on both sides of the house. Members must calm themselves. The questions will be heard however long it takes and the same is true of the replies. Please try to get used to that. The Prime Minister. No one needs to wait for their money if they need it. We have made it easier for people to get advances. We've ensured they can get 100%, 100% of their first month's payment up front. And we've already, and we've already scrapped the seven-day waiting period. And as I repeat, what happened when we scrapped the seven-day waiting period? Labour voted against it. Jeremy Corbyn! Mr Speaker, it's a loan that's offered for some people. And the Trussell Trust has pointed out that food banks... The Trussell Trust has also pointed out that food banks face record demand this December. I just gently say to her and the members behind her, food banks are not just a photo opportunity for Conservative yeah. MPs. <laughs> who themselves, all of whom supported, all of whom supported the cuts in benefit that have led to the poverty in this country. Yeah. Yesterday, the Joseph Roundry Foundation research found, and I quote, in work poverty was rising faster than the overall employment rate yeah. due to chronic low pay and insecure work. The United Kingdom has the we weakest wage growth of all G20 nations. Living standards have fallen for the majority of people. What is so wrong with our economy that our pay growth is so much worse than each of the other nations in the G20? Prime Minister! Me, right honourable gentlemen, that we, have, we now see wages growing faster than they have for nearly a decade. Yeah. We see employment... We see employment at record levels. But what the right honourable gentleman wants to do, he talks about scrapping universal credit. What he wants to do is to go back to square one. That means going back to a system that left 1.4 million people spending more, most of a decade trapped on benefits. It left people, it left people paying an effective tax rate of 90 per cent and it cost every household an extra £3,000 a year. As ever with Labour, it was ordinary working people who paid the price. Yeah.